Hey there, it's time again for another Tools and Tips Tuesday. In this week's episode, we're gonna take a look at how to easily take device screenshots from within Android Studio and how to clean up your device's status bar so that those screenshots look really nice for whatever purpose they're serving. Okay, so I've opened up a basic Android Studio project here. Now let's imagine that we need to create some device screenshots. Maybe that's because we want to include them in a pull request, or maybe we need to create new screenshots and hand them off to our designers to create assets for our Google Play Store listing. Now there are a variety of ways that we could go about creating these screenshots, but one of the easiest ways to do it is actually right within Android Studio itself. To take a screenshot directly within Android Studio, we can open up our LogCat tool window. And notice over here on the left-hand side of that, there's this camera icon. If we select that, it'll take a screenshot of the currently selected device. So in this case, it took a screenshot of the emulator that's open on the left-hand side of my screen. You can also quickly recapture screenshots by clicking the recapture button. Now notice here that it is taking a screenshot of just the screen. But what if we wanted to actually frame this so that it looks like it's actually a device? To do this, we can select the frame screenshot option. You'll see here it actually adds a device frame to that screenshot. So you can actually see what it looks like on the device. To change what that looks like, you can click this drop down. And depending on the emulator you have, you might have these generic options, or you might have more specific options like Pixel 3 or Nexus 6. So you can play around with those different frames to get the look you're looking for. Additionally, you can select Drop Shadow, which will give you a look where down at the bottom of that asset, there's actually a little bit of shadow. So again, this just gives you a nice a little depth to the screenshot and makes it look a little bit more polished. Now, when we're creating our screenshots, we want them to look nice, clean, and polished, especially if they're going to be used for assets in your Google Play Store listing. So one thing to point out here is that in this screenshot, you'll notice we have all these icons up here in our status bar. See so a debugging icon, something about memory, you know, probably a, a um, developer option related notification here. Ideally, we would like to clean all of those up so that they're not present when we're taking these screenshots if they're gonna be used publicly. So one more tip that we can do to improve the way our screenshots look is go to our developer options. Then we're gonna search for demo. We'll see here that there's a developer option called system UI demo mode. If we select that, it's gonna take us to the option here, which we can then select, and we can enable this. As Soon as we enable this, you'll notice that our status bar has been cleaned up significantly. We now have a specific time, we have full Wi-Fi, full bars, all of that stuff, and all of those notifications are gone. So once again, if we disable this, you'll see we have all this, and this is like a real active status bar. And once we turn this on and enable it, we'll see our status bar is nice and cleaned up. So if we then come back here, open our app, click recapture, we'll see we have a much cleaner looking screenshot. So this is a nice thing to remember to set up before you start taking any type of public facing screenshots. Hopefully this has been a nice quick tip to help you be more efficient next time you need to create screenshots for your application. This will work both with your emulators or with devices you have plugged in, such as your own personal development device. Thank you so much for watching, devs. Until next time.